Hi guys, I'm Fatima, and welcome to the first entry for the Leicester Research column. Our first guest is a third year student, Jake Vishoka. He's currently the Vice President for Medrif for this year, 2020 to 21. He knows how to code and he's currently working on a GP simulator, so make sure you all look out for that. So today he's going to talk to us about Medrif projects over the past year that have won prizes and even been accepted to national conferences. So yeah, that's really exciting. Let's give him a ring. Hi Jake Veer, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So, is it okay if we have a chat with you today? Yeah, sure. Okay, so just to start off with, tell me how you got involved in research. So, the first place I got involved in research was a society called MEDRIFT. Mm -hmm. So that stands for Medical Research into Future Technologies. So I've got a number of projects going on there. I got involved with several of them and that's really how it started back in my first year. So this project is all around using virtual reality for teaching simulations. Oh, that sounds really interesting. It really is, yeah, as you'll come to see. So the question we were asking is, can a simulated virtual ward round improve medical students' confidence, documentation skills and empathy in the clinical environment? So in order to make these videos, we recorded them using a GoPro Omni to make our 360 degree videos. The scenarios were based off Dr. Nasif Mahmoud's previous experiences of former CTF here. Okay. We then rendered the videos and posted them to YouTube as 360 degree videos. So anyone could go watch them and the best with a Google Cardboard or any VR headset really. So then we ran some simulation days and some PowerPoint presentations in order to compare with our VR videos. And here's the results. We have the VR in blue and the PowerPoint and simulations in orange. Mm -hmm. As you can see, for third year responsibilities and understanding distractions, VR performed much better. But in terms of confidence, there's room for improvement here. So we felt there was more research to be done. The next step, we did all the same things. But this time, we edited the videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a slightly warped screenshot, but as you can see, we can add text on. Mm -hmm. So this could be patient notes, or like information about the patient, any like observation, or like directing their attention to a key point. So then we ran another workshop. We gave three questionnaires, mm -hmm. trained them, and what made them watch the VR video for a discussion and empathy questions. We then did some S bar teaching before rewatching the video and then applying this new knowledge so they could do some S bar handovers before a post course questionnaire. And these are the comparative results from pre and post. As you can see, all across the board, there was an improvement in all sections. Oh, that's really lovely to hear. So, in conclusion, there's a lot, this is an engaging teaching method with great results all across the board. Peer collaboration is invaluable and mm -hmm. this is hoping to transform medical education. That sounds so cool. So did you, did you enjoy working on this as well? I thoroughly enjoyed it, yeah, and I learned a lot myself. That's really good. What kind, what's the like, most important thing that you learned, do you feel? Um, I learned a different mixture of technological skills, so I never knew how to edit videos before this, but the project trained me on it, as well as clinical skills, so I didn't know how to do SBAR before this, so a whole wide variety of things. Okay, that's really nice. So skills that you've never done before, this inv getting involved in this project helped you to build on them as well? Exactly, yeah. So tell me about some other projects that you've been a part of as well then. Yeah, sure. So as I mentioned, Medrift has got multiple projects going on. We'll go through another one of them, the QR code escape room. Okay. So this was done as a workshop at the National Medical Research Conference in 2019 at Leicester. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it was all centered around case-based escape rooms. So we've got five people here. These mm -hmm. are the five participants, members of the conference, all had five different roles. We've then got a like simulated patient and relative as two actors, mm -hmm. and the team of five here are racing against the clock to try to save this patient. Over here, we've got our special app, which was specially designed for the conference. This allows you to scan QR codes all around the room and input in data to all progress through, get more information, and hopefully save the patient before time runs out. So, can you tell us a bit about what kind of results you got? So this is our abstract, which we submitted to a conference and we got accepted for it at the ASME National Conference. But I'll just take us through to the results now. Okay. So as you can see in the results, about 120 students participated. Mm -hmm. Most of them shared feedback. And 
we've gotten to rate things from a scale of 1 to 10, and as you can see, most of them ranged from high 6s to 7s. So we were generally very good at team building, understanding other medical disciplines, critical thinking, work only under pressure, medical knowledge and time management. So generally really positive results all across the board. Did you have a good time working in this then? I had a great time. I learned a lot. It was really good fun and really good for my CV as well. Because with all these projects, I got to present at national conferences and win prizes as well. Oh, that's so cool. So did you mention that you presented at a national conference? Uh, I did indeed. So the this National Medical Research Conference, the VR project got presented at that and mm -hmm. it won the best oral presentation award. Oh, wow. So for people that are like new to this, would you recommend students getting involved in, in medical research? I'd highly recommend getting involved with it. Yeah, not only would you learn lots of skills, but it can be really enjoyable. I've learned loads of new things and mm -hmm. getting to meet a lot of older years who have taught me loads of things as well. So really enjoyable, learn a lot, would highly recommend. So if any student wants to get involved and touch with you and they want to find out more about this or ask you questions, would that be okay with you? I'd be more than happy to help. Yeah, my student email is JSS44. Okay, thank you. So thank you so much for coming and talking with us today. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure.